The disaster in the stock market has toppled a few of what have long thought to be the pillars of good investment practice. One of those pillars has to do with portfolio strategy. Joining me today is the man regarded as the father of modern portfolio theory, Harry Markowitz, Nobel laureate and professor at the Rady School of Management at the University of California in San Diego. Harry, thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, in this broad market collapse, a lot of things didn't seem to work as, as advertised. Did you think that portfolio strategy and diversification held up as you expected? Well, you have to uh, distinguish between high beta stocks and low beta stocks. A beta is the um, uh, extent to which you would expect a given security to go up and down with the market. So uh, uh, the S&P 500 has a beta of roughly one. Uh, emerging market has higher beta. Uh, bonds have lower beta. And in fact, uh, uh, while the S&P went down 38.5%, uh, the emerging markets went down much more. Uh, uh, corporate bonds went uh, down very little. Uh, government bonds went actually up. So those things performed as one would have expected. A lot of people's experience of, of portfolio practice is a financial planner plugging their investments into a calculator um, and making minor adjustments in their weighting of value-oriented stocks and growth-oriented stocks. Is that form of diversification oversold? Well, it's important uh, to, to know that uh, there is no uh, high return with no risk. Uh, portfolio theory, modern portfolio theory, uh, presents the user with a risk-return trade-off curve. If you want a high return on the average, you have to uh, uh, put up with volatility in the short run. If you want stability in the short run, you have to uh, uh, take less return on the average. So one of the jobs of the uh, important jobs of the financial advisors to make sure that the uh, client gets to the right point on this risk-return trade-off. When it comes to applying modern portfolio theory to their own investments, their own 401ks, say, what mistakes do investors typically make? The typical uh, mistake of the small investor is to buy when the market is high and they think it's going to go higher and then sell when the market is low and they think it's going to go lower. Well, that's a, that's a tough impulse to fight these days. I would think anyone who's had their, market, uh, their money in the market for the past 18 months is really fighting the impulse to pull out. What's your advice? How do you convince yourself to stay aboard? If you're an individual and you uh, don't have a, uh, a financial advisor to uh, uh, compute an efficient frontier and get a sophisticated mix of asset classes, you should uh, have a broadly, you should split your money between a broadly diversified uh, portfolio of equities and then bonds or cash equivalents or something and get a mixture that you're willing to um, live with. Harry, thank you for your insights. Thanks for joining us today. My pleasure. I'm Eric Schoenberg for MoneyWatch.com. Thanks for watching.